Hello, I'm Alan Allberg. About 30 years ago, my wife Janet and I made a book called Peepo. And I'd like now to tell you something about it and how we made it. Peepo by Janet and Alan Allberg. Let me read a little bit. Here's a little baby, one, two, three. Stands in his cot. What does he see? Peepo. And the, the main point about this book is that the page, Peepo, has a hole in it. And the thing that interested us about making the book was that you could peep through the hole and see something of the next page before you turned the page. So the baby can peep through the hole and we can then see the baby peeping through from the other side and we see he sees his father sleeping in the big brass bed and his mother too with a hairnet on her head. He sees the shadows moving on the bedroom wall and the sun at the window and his teddy and his ball. The book is also um, a historic book. It's set in the 1940s, more or less in a town called Oldbury in the black country where I grew up and the baby is more or less me. He sees his mother pouring hot porridge in a bowl and his father in the doorway with a bucket full of coal. He sees his sister skipping in the yard outside and his grandma pegging washing on the clothesline to be dried. And you can see when you look at Janet's pictures all the details of the 1940s terraced house all the bits and pieces that people needed and used. I'll read another little bit. Here's a little baby, one, two, three, sits on the grass. What does he see? Peepo. And you look through the hole. Um, it did occur to me at the time I was making this book that um, there was something rather nice about selling holes, selling a book that had, as it were, less paper in it. Um, I had lots of jobs when I was a younger man. I was a postman and a school teacher and a soldier and a plumber's mate, but also for a couple of years I was a grave digger. And so, as you can imagine, the idea of selling holes um, was something I was fairly well familiar with. The last thing I'd like to tell you about this book um, is the dress that the mother wears. You first see the dress hanging up in the wardrobe, in the very first large picture, you can see in the wardrobe the mother is asleep in bed and her dress is hanging up in the wardrobe. And we see her wearing it again right at the end as she carries the baby upstairs to bed. When the book was delivered, our publisher kindly arranged a launch party and an exhibition of Janet's pictures. Just before the party, Janet went into Leicester Market and lo and behold, on a second-hand stall, she found more or less the same dress that she had invented. Janet loved a bargain and she bought the dress for 50p and she wore it at the launch party. So there we are, that's Janet and that's me, uh, 30 years ago at the launch party. And in the book, back in the 1940s, that's me again, the baby. It's very pleasing to have a book that sticks around for 30 years, but I'd rather like to come back in another 20 years and celebrate the 50th anniversary of Peepo. And perhaps you'll be around too, and we can enjoy it together. Goodbye for now.